All right, so made my way over here to Darkwall Tower. So before we start working on placing these banners, let's revive this uh, friend of ours. Revived at last. I shall reclaim this tower in the name of my prince. Ah, oh, okay. So we'll work on placing the banners and see whether or not uh, any of them will actually attack us while we're doing so. Let us begin. It's too far away. Did that go how you wanted it to? No? Didn't think so. I need to get closer. Now's our chance! Punch somebody! Treasures, rise up! I need a target. Nope, never mind. Wasn't sure if that led somewhere. Doesn't look like it does. Oh, very well. Whew. She seems to be doing a lot of damage. Revendress will well fought. That will not hold them for long, but it should buy Reneth all the time that he needs. Thank you, mortal, for the infusion. I shall put this precious animal to good use while it lasts. Keep your eyes open. Always. Right, now where is that last banner? No shoes, no shirt, no service! I love the dredgers. I love the world quest where you can pretend to be a dredger and just go around and like serve food, serve drinks, clean up muck, and you're like, your drink, sir, your some food, sir. <laughs> ah, over there. Oh, very well. It comes very easy to just kind of impersonate Renathal and the aristocratic. Uh, persona. Yes. Like, oh, very well, if I must. Ah! Oh, our potential savior of the Shadowlands has arrived. Quite the view he's getting to look at here. They may look like simple banners, but with the right words and a few appropriate spells. Turn this place into a temporary sanctuary. There is. Oh my goodness. Inevitability. <laughs> Looks like he's uh, having me be uh, the one who goes out and sends out invitations. There was a time when I hosted such wonderful gatherings at this tower. Even the master could be seen, smiling, enjoying his time. He was beautiful to behold then, the true sire of the Venthia. I wonder how long he had been plotting with the jailer. I wonder that too. If even then his smile was a guise hiding his loathing for all of reality. That's something I continue to hammer in, but I really want to know how long did Denathrius actually want to help the jailer? Was this always his goal? Has he been like this like for who knows how long? Or did at some point did he get turned like Devos? Like something caused Denathrius to be like 
Nope, I am definitely with the Jailer now. I wasn't before, but now I am. Which one is it? That's what I really want to know about Denathrius. The Countess, the Harvester of Desire. Her wits are sharper than most swords. While I have never seen her carry a weapon, you must assume that she is never unprotected. Her mansion mirrors mansion mirrors my own on the northeastern side of Castle Nathria. Her dominion was that of the Castle Ward, and it is her authority that keeps the nobles in line. She will appreciate a secret message. I will send a dredger ahead with a plan to infiltrate her party. Meet him on the Bridge of Temptation. Good luck. The Tithe Lord is a bully and a coward, just like every harvester of envy before him. He is still a force beyond our current reckoning. I have sent Naja and Temul to, to Pridefall Hamlet in the south to ascertain the best, most non-lethal way to reach the Tithe Lord. Meet them there and use caution. The Tithe Lord would kill you in less than a, the blink of an eye if he thought that it would gain him more power or, or authority. The drought, the lack okay. of souls, the jailer. Okay, oh, apparently just auto you know, pick the stone right one. The Medallion of Wrath is in the hands of the stone right. She is ancient, powerful, and responsible for creating the Stone Legion. She is not someone to be subtle with. It is a very dangerous thing to ask, but would you meet with General Draven at the Dom Dominance Gate? If we are to see the Stone Rite attend, she must know the severity of our request, which means both you and Draven walking right in the front door. Okay, then. So, we've got three different areas to go to. See, what I don't like is that he doesn't have, like, a, hey, let me give you a bit of a fast travel. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's this? Whoa. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> it's like, hey, let's let's go ahead and just let you down. We'll take you down here towards the, uh, the Flight Master. Okay, well, in that case, I'll just go to this one here. Oh, hey, I can direct this. Whee! Alright, that's enough. After all, I'm a demon hunter. I can just, whee, glide down on my own. But for other classes, I can see that being kind of helpful. Kill the three nearby Stone Legion Punishers in order to remove the Strength of Numbers buffs in order to get that guy. Eh, he, only, he drops a plate thing, not leather. I could do that on my Death Knight, but not on my Demon Hunter. Heck, I could do that on my eventual Paladin. Don't mind me, Dulis. Just passing through. Meanwhile, the anima is still flowing into the mall. Just in case you forgot. What is our next target? This will not be an easy day. We walk in the winged shadows of my brothers and sisters in arms. Stoneborn. I have trained since they were first carved from stone. This is an ancient rite. If we cross this bridge on foot, defeating any who would dare stop us, we may have an audience with the mother of the Stoneborn. However, know that our safe return is not guaranteed. So try not to offend her. Do not look forward to this. We do what must be done. 
All right, Draven, let's go. to slay you. Please do not let me do so. Imagine how hard this is for Draven. Like he said, these are basically his brothers and sisters. And when you think about it, the Stone Rite is basically his, you know, his mother, along with the mother of all the other. Oh my gosh! I'm actually... Getting hurt? I need to target something first. As a vengeance demon hunter, I'm actually getting hurt. This is surprising. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm actually getting hurt. It's time to actually focus here. Fine, I yield for now. Oh boy, that's a lot. Okay, maybe I should uh have a have a bite to eat, give myself a uh, a bit of a buff. Just saying. Just might be a good idea. <laughs> Do I did just like dash for her and be like, I'm gonna deliver the mission to you? This is no place for the living. I can't attack that. Ah, oh, too much. I mean, they're all basically just standing here guarding her. So is that what I have to do? I have to basically just like dash. That's funny little graveyard right here, right next to her. Leave this place before it claims you. You curtailed your rage enough to cross the bridge despite those who stood in your way. This is progress. It is also the only time I will permit you to enter my domain again. So present the reasons for your intrusion. I have a message from Renethal. So, Draven, you continue to serve Prince Renethal despite his many failures. Mother of Stone, I serve Revendreth. At this time, the Dark Prince is the only one who has a plan to best do that. With this Marwalker's help, we may undo the Master's blind devotion to the Jailer and the Maw. Very well. I shall see what Renethal has to say. If nothing else, perhaps I might end this pointless struggle that has my children fighting each other. So note, she of course is the Harvester of Wrath, which means she has the Medallion of Wrath. You can even see it right there. So of course, you know, that's why, one of the reasons why we are trying to basically gather all of them so we can perhaps convince them to be like, look, let's, uh, you know, let's just uh, try and see what we can do about, uh, you know, stopping all this. 
So let's go ahead and use the new mirror that I just opened up at Pride Fall in order to go see if we can find out what's going on with, uh, you know, meet up with Naja and see what we can do about convincing the Tithe Lord to meet with us. This will be interesting. No path available. Gosh, I hate that. Hey, Naja. Hey, Tummel. You are so refreshingly... fresh. <laughs> Thanks. Ready to fall with grace? Thank you for meeting us at a minimum safe distance from the caretaker's manor. There are enough people around here that may still find the idea of me in a cage to be worth the trouble. It is too dangerous for you or I to speak to the Tithe Lord. He is too impulsive and eager to please Denathrius. I recommend we send Temel. The Stone Fiend is a common messenger for Dr Revendreth, and few aside from a handful of observers will bat an eye at his rival. Just shove him when you are ready. A blade is a tool. Okay. Get going, Temel. Hand that wields it. Oh, wait. I'm Temel. Whee! Flap, flap. Yeah, I've been here a few times to do that world quest that you do here. You can see some of them are detectors. I guess I have to go through that doorway. Well, that's gonna be fun. is this so the dark prince is making his move to usurp the throne i suppose someone of character should be there to stop him <laughs> all right so now we need to go over here and find the Countess. <clears throat> now she is probably in a very fun area, right over here in the midst of all this stuff. There's lots of lords and such that are usually like, you know, bosses and such. Well, like rares or elites, so yeah, this could be fun. <laughs> My master did say to serve everyone. <laughs> I, love, I love the little characters in this zone. Uh, my master did say to serve everyone. <laughs> so, so great. So many entertaining characters in this. Love it. Love the look and aesthetic and design. Just look at that.
uh, here's part of the fun of going through this zone is how many hostiles are in this area. And then trying to navigate your way through. Of course, I believe this is a relatively popular area because this is an area where you can find Blanche, which I have yet to do that stuff, but I've already seen people running around with that mount, which I'm already jealous of. And now I see I was supposed to go up there. Ugh. Now I have to figure out how to get up there. Let's see. There's probably an elevator somewhere that I can use to go up. The Menagerie of the Master. There's a ramp over here. Because she is, like, right up there, but... Actually, no, that's Cudgel Face I'm meeting up there. I hope this is a way to get up there. But, yep. Anima's still going. It's still flowing into the maw. Like, see all the names here? Duke, Grigor, Lord Stefan, Sir Wilhelm, Lady Onana, Sir Nandru, Lady Andrada, Chancellor Ladris. So many names here. You do not belong here. You do Your not belong here. Dad. You, this you do not belong here. You do not belong here. You do not belong here. Not speak to me. Here alive. So, cudgel face. Here for sweat or knuckles? Glad you got here before in patrols. I ain't got a permit to park here. So here's a sketch. We mark you up to look like war servants. This stuff is protected by anti-theft, so if them clothes think they are being stolen, they teleport back here. You and all. You should be able to reach the Countess with your message. Uh, just smile, nod, do as you're told, don't talk to anyone, and don't make eye contact with anything that's got wings. They'll know that you shouldn't be there. So this is basically like that world quest I mentioned. None of them got Yep. This is the one right here. So I'm a dredger. I'm like, drink for you, sir. Food, food for your madam. Basically serving a party. Usually when you go in here, you can also get little abilities like, you know, would you like a drink, sir? I'm like, oh, there's a little muck puddle. Let me clean that up for you. But no, we're just beelining for the Countess while avoiding the detectors. Excuse me, Madam Countess, I have a message for you. What secrets have you to spill? Why are you interrupting my schmoozing and hobnobbery? The an invitation from Prince Renethor? How delicious. I simply cannot miss this. Yeah, she's, she's all into the delicious juicy gossip. All right. The help. Yes, I look like the help. I imagine once I leave, I'll be able to just kind of get rid of this. Hey, look, a dredger with wings. There we go. Gosh, I love playing as a demon heart. Why would anyone walk anywhere? Remember, a safe flight isn't... It's still... Oh! Oh! It, no, no, never mind. I was like, it finally stopped! Nope. There was more left over. Still flowing into the mall. I, 
Okay, up oh, right there. There's the there's the entrance to the raid right there. So you're just gonna run up that way. It takes you right to the entrance. Got invited by my uh, our raid leader in our guild to participate in the raid this week. So I want to accept it, but. As you can see, I'm not nearly gear enough yet. I gotta get my gear level up another 20 points to be at a suitable and decent level. Because at the moment, we're like, eh, maybe 170, 180. You know, somewhere between that. They're not being very strict on the requirements. Partly because some people still don't quite know what exactly the uh, actual, you know, gear level requirement stuff the upper hand. is supposed to be Use for this raid. Stores you can find. It's probably, you know, a good idea to go in there at like 180 or higher. Because you can get 184 gear in Mythic Dungeons. But, uh, you know, just to kind of give you an idea here. So let's say if I went to Theater of Pain and I wanted to do Mythic, I could be able to get 184 gear pieces. And then when you look at the raid for just say, let's just look at normal. Oh, hey, a bag drops. It drops 207 gear. And that's on normal. So, it becomes a little like, okay, what's the actual, like, recommended level and such, you know? I hope there's, like, a little thing here that opens up to make it where you, getting to this tower is a little quicker and easier and faster. Because this just seems like a little, little much to try and make our way over here. Unless there's an extra way to get up here that I just don't know about. But I'm hoping doing this quest will be like, here's an instant way to get back to this tower. Come closer, my new friend. Ah, the Countess, mistress of the court. Always assume, assume that she is never alone, and always capable of great treachery. Hmm, treachery. Renathal, do you have a thing for the Countess? But then again, she sounded like she seems to she might have a thing for you. There is no possibility of victory. Ah, oh, the Tithe Lord. I believe he is the two hundred and seventy-fifth caretaker to Lord over the village of over the village ward. My goodness, how many different Venthyr have carried these medallions over the countless ages and thousands and thousands of years that Warcraft has been around? He is as dangerously ambitious as every harvester of envy before him will help only if he believes that he stands to gain more power. We face the I remember when the first Stoneborn moved with the breath of anima infused by the Stone Knight. Never ever confuse her sympathy for her creations as a weakness. She holds the Medallion of Wrath for a reason. Well, we have Quorum. You have done all that you can do for us at this stage, Marwalker. It falls to me now to convince these ancient fools to forsake the greatest patron in all of their reality and throw their lot in with me. A failed rebel with a new plan. Let us see if I can still sway a crowd, as it were. As it were. Wish me luck. You and me. With the medallions combined, we can seize control of Revendreth. You mean you could seize control? These are merely the ravings of a selfish prince, desperate to reclaim his former glory. The bargain between Denathrius and the Jailer will leave us all to be consumed by the Maw. I want our ways to survive. If that makes me selfish, I would hope you were all selfish as well. None of your grand words matter. You cannot defeat both the Jailer and the Master. I will not subject my Stoneborn children to further suffering. Ha! I've heard enough. This usurper demands our medallions, but offers nothing. Ugh. Why, Renethor, if only you had shown such passion ages ago. I find it positively enthralling. But I must agree with the others. You lack leverage.
This is why the party thing is a Covenant feature. Because we are more than likely going to be using these parties to help Renathal gain more political power and sway, because as you could see, he doesn't really have that much with them right now. But we can be able to help him with that and actually help gain him some, you know, more, you know, stronger political standing amongst the rest of the court of the, and the harvesters and the other nobles and such here in Revendreth. Because at first it didn't really make much sense, like, why are we throwing these parties? Now you can see why. Hello, well, Moor Walker. That could have gone better. I did not expect them to come around right away, but I had hoped at least one or two of them might. Now we must do it the hard way. We should leave before they send forces to recapture this tower. There is a simplicity in inevitability. Alright, so now I got another set piece. And it's an upgrade, so I'm up to 150! Woohoo! I have many lucky dudes you like. All right, so the next campaign quest is going to be back in the Covenant, Kindred Spirits. Let's go take a look at what that is. Can you spare a moment, dearest friend? What's up, Theotar? Forgive my appearance. My hair is quite unruly today. I just noticed the healing dummy over here is just a, a dredger on fire. <laughs> I have come to the realization that you and I are meant to be the most Kindred of spirits, your enduring nature has enraptured me, and I'm afraid I cannot bear to imagine an afterlife without your beguiling presence. Let us bind our souls and forever carry each other in both heart and mind. If you discover a mighty foe, ha! The spring in my step is only matched by the lightness of my soul. What an occasion this will be! All right, so we get our second soul bind, and we'll get to increase our renown. Care for a quick stroll? My heart swells, knowing that our souls are bound for all eternity. If you discover my shirt, bury it! I'm out of range. So, Theotar, his soulbind ability is Soothing Shade. Your spells and abilities have a chance to call tubbins and gubbins to your side for 12 seconds. Parasol in hand. Standing in the shaded area grants you an extra 525 mastery. So let's see. Dwarf Shadows has two charges, but its cooldown is increased by 30 seconds. Dwarf Shadows frees you from roots and snares. Ooh, I like that. I'll go ahead and put that there. Whoops. Let's see. Endurance. Brand is reduced. Healing is increased. I'll go with the extra one. All right. 
I like the idea of having using Dora Shadows to get rid of any roots. I think right now Theotar would probably be good for the tank spec, whereas Nadja with the Real Seeker would probably be better for uh, Havoc. Oh, hold on, I could actually increase that as well because of the extra Renown. Hmm. So now I can use a finesse one here. Gotta wait to be able to do that one though. Alright, so for now I'll stick with Theotar. So that got me the extra row for Nadja and the upgrade for the Unraid PvP item level stuff. Sinfall's influence grows thanks to your triumphs. Your accomplishments have not gone unnoticed, even beyond the borders of Revendreth. Tales of your victories have echoed through the halls of Orbos Zor Zosorg. The Master of Conflict has requested a meeting with you. Behold, the finest and rarest of goods in all of the Shadowlands. Nothing else? How moderate. Earn Renown 8 to continue the campaign. So I'm at 7. I have one quest to increase my Renown. So this one right here. Rescue five souls from the Maw. I just don't know if I'm actually able to do so because I think I already met my quota for the week. I will check, but yeah, at this point it's just like, okay, it looks like I may have to just do some off-camera stuff. Uh, go do some dungeons, go um, do my runs of Torghast, which has a Tank Demon Hire should not be an issue at all. Yeah. Also, I gotta go do this thing, where I go find information to locate the allies, which is the stuff to go save Bane as well as Jaina, so yeah. Looks like well, I got some more off-camera stuff to do for this character. Before we can continue the campaign, heck, I may even have to wait until the reset in order to be able to actually increase my renown to continue the campaign. Plus, I also have, you know, it won't just be about increasing the renown. As you can see, I can't even unlock this right here until I get six souls and I have two, but I can't be able to actually get more until the reset, I think. So, yeah. This is part of the issue with uh, having this five souls to save in the mall per week cap early on on alts when you're behind and you can't upgrade your soul. Uh you know, keeper or catcher thing until you increase your renown, you know, because then you're basically having to be forced to wait an entire week, or, you know, entire, you know, for the next reset before you can actually continue the story. So, yeah, that's kind of the situation I'm in. So I've got a number of things to do and work on, as you can see here. So stay tuned.